by Dr. Brinker. Coming on. Dr. Brinker, are you going to be putting on the video? Hello. <laughs> I think he'll text me if there's a problem. Sure. He's definitely linked with us. Uh, he says he can't hear. He's going to try going back in again. Okay. Okay. He's pretty good at this troubleshooting stuff. I got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did a lot of filmings with him for COVID stuff. Yeah, he's got this. <laughs> it's hard to tell cues on Zoom because I can't, I can't see Haley, so I never know when it's like okay to talk if we're recording. So. Well, it said he was connecting audio, so that's good. Now, I, uh, am I on? Yeah. Yes. Here you go. All right. Let me see what I can do to figure out the rest of this stuff here. <laughs> Obviously, I am not an IT genius. <laughs> no, there you are. We see you. Perfect. Looks good. Thanks for doing this with us, Dr. Brinker. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. Tell me what so, I need to do if I need to fix something. If I have a nose hair, is that a place? <laughs> you don't have a, a white coat or a stethoscope where you are, do you? No, because I'm on no. quarantine. I'm at home and I don't have, you know what? I do, old, um, I do have one of my old resume coats. I want to put that on. You want to put that on, Karen? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Yeah, you. I mean, you, you wouldn't see anything St. Luke's on it, but I do have it. And, yeah, but we, I, th I think we can only see your shoulders anyway, Doctor Brinker. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let me let me go grab it quick. So typically, when I do filmings with Doctor Brinker, I always bring him a white coat. But he is on board. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just thinking we're going to be talking about how it's safe to come to the office, and but <laughs> he's at home. So if we made him look a little <laughs> clinical. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> We're gonna have to send out St. Luke's backdrops for the next uh, <laughs> next shoot. You're right. You're right. You're right. Perfect. That looks better. Oh, that looks yeah, great. That'll, that'll be perfect. good. That's perfect. Good call, Corin. Yeah, I, I'm not getting my stuff at the office, so I'm. Are you? Are you? Is today your last day, Doctor Brinker? It is. Today is my last day. Yes. Now you have to go back to the real world. <laughs> are you quarantined because of travel or exposure yeah. no travel i was okay i got caught i got caught in north carolina when the governor announced the uh um the immediate quarantine so yeah today's my last day all right are we ready to get going yep i'm i'm gonna mute myself now That better? Sure. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's that better? amazing over there. It's time now for Your Health Live. Joining us today, we have Dr. John Brinker with St. Luke's Monroe Family Practice. Thanks for joining us for PA Live. Hey, no problem, my pleasure, glad to be here. We're happy you're here today. And as you know, and everyone knows, there's been so much in the news about COVID. What is the situation in the community and is it safe to come to the doctor's office? Sure, um, so 
initially back in March, April, we certainly had uh, a lot of cases in northeastern Pennsylvania, and uh, we did a really great job as a community to uh, decrease the spread and, and really slow it down. Now we are seeing a little bit of an increase uh, recently in the last several days, uh, but certainly not to the, the degree that you are seeing in other parts of the country. As far as coming out to, to your primary care providers or your, um, any of your specialists uh, as well, yes, we do want people to do that. And the one thing we don't want people to forget about is that your health doesn't take a pause uh, and your health concerns take a pause because COVID's around. So it's now been about four months that we've been battling this in the area. And it's uh, getting to the point where we don't want people to continue to delay getting out and taking care of, of their health problems. Right, so tell us some of the precautions in place in your office to protect patients and your staff. Sure, so coming to the office isn't like it used to be anymore. Um, and really life is either. But as far as when you come to the office, we're not using the waiting room. Uh, we are encouraging patients to remain in their car. Uh, when their appointment time is, is then, is a boss, we will come out to the car get them, bring them right into the room. Uh, we do pre-screen all patients prior to the appointment uh, and ask about any exposures, uh, any symptoms, and if any of those are present, we certainly try to uh, convert that visit to a virtual visit so we're not bringing you into the office. Once you're in the office, uh, you'll notice the staff is all wearing masks, uh, wearing gloves. We are cleaning the room between patients. Uh, providers are washing their hands uh, in between patients uh, at the end of the visit from the previous patient and then um, before the next visit. We're sterilizing our equipment. So we are doing everything to make sure that the visit to our office um, is a, a safe and uh, you know necessary thing to do. All right, good things to know. And now that things are opening up a bit, is it safe to be out at stores and restaurants? Yes, I, I do think it is. And I certainly would encourage anyone to make sure they're using some common sense. Uh, make sure that if you have underlying health conditions, it might not be the time to go out. Uh, but certainly, uh, if you do have to go out to a grocery store or if you do have to go out and, and, and get something from, from anywhere, uh, just make sure you're, you're wearing your mask. Make sure you're washing your hands, uh, using hand sanitizer if you can't wash your hands. Make sure you're staying a, a safe distance from other people six feet. Uh, at a minimum, as we've all know, uh, heard very frequently. And, um, you know, try to limit the time out and, and limit your potential exposures. Again, people with high risk, people with heart problems, breathing problems, probably should take a little bit of an extra caution and only do those trips that are necessary. All right, great information today. Thank you so much for your time and advice, doctor. If you at home want more information, go to sluhn.org. Thank you guys. That was great. Thank you so much. Really, really, really good. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Brain.